Welcome back, communicators, to the lucky die. Previously, Laffian puts forward the idea of murder. Rao worries about how much they've said, Scorch admits to being scared, and Zoltana is always there for her friends. In Mistress Fex's house, the team made plans to speak with Common, but they weren't the only ones trying to communicate with people, as it turns out that Fex has all the materials to communicate with the blissful eclipse, and is having them followed, thankfully, by someone who is just trying to make a living. Is the situation with Fex just circumstantial? Will the residents of Bellum be able to get to the Sea Witch in time? And what will the results of talking with Hagen be? I guess we're about to find out. Welcome back to the Lucky Die. If you want to do, uh, fuck off real quick to Hagen does. I mean Hagen. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys can clearly see like um uh, um, oh, what's the what's the phrasing I'm looking for? Like a, a look of turmoil on Squash's face. He's really torn right now about his actions and the decisions Conflict. we've made. Conflict is a good word. Yes. Uh, but he's gonna follow the team if we start hustling towards Hagen's place. Um. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Um, the four of you being led by Tio again, um, you actually weren't too far from the the kind of the building that's around the vortex. You can see that in the kind of the wall, which is made from various bits and pieces that's around this vortex, this swirling mass, you can see that the building is actually much further around. There's a lot more distance between the edge and the vortex itself. And you can very see, very clearly see as Tio flies through it, there's just this archway that has been built into this. Um, there aren't any guards, there isn't anybody around, but there is a little archway and it clearly leads into like this kind of large building. Um, it's not very well constructed, it's just there, it feels like matter of fact. But as you walk in and towards this, you can see around the walls are so high because they have like these layers of seats in them. Um, benches, steps, places for people to watch whatever is going to happen. As you step into this building proper, you see that Hagen is already standing there waiting to talk to you. You can see that there is this doorway behind him that leads off to, well, you don't know what, and Tio is just happily perched on his shoulder. He is a very large creature now. He is almost to the point where you could tell if he gets much larger, he's going to have to walk on all fours. You can see that his teeth are very long and pointed and very sharp. You can see that he has these beginnings of wings on his shoulders. You can see that at his hip, at his hip he has a sword that three of you would definitely recognize as being um, the sword from one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, the age you sword. As you step in, he smiles as he sees Ra. Yeah. Uh, Ra runs forward and hugs Hagen, and it's, uh, yeah, he's sobbing. It's not too long before he's unconscious and falls kind of limp. Oh. <laughs> you, the those of you watching, you can see that um, Hagen is massive. Um, he's basically, I guess, the equivalent of what would be a young dragon in size, but not actually a dragon yet. Um, and you can see that as as Raoul is hugging him and Raoul passes out, you kind of see him smile, um, despite all the tears like um, pouring down his face. And he lays Raoul down very carefully, and he just very gently just like 
begins to administer something to the top of his head and to his shoulder, and you see this kind of glow. And as he breathes over this kind of like pale mist of cold, um, Raoul, you find yourself revived. Oh. We're all still crying, and he's whispering all kinds of dumb things like, I'm sorry, (laughs) and this and that. No, 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 no. You do not have to. You, of all people. And he kind of like sits you up, um, and he kind of sits back on his haunch as best that he can because he's just too big to sit down normally. Um, (laughs) And he says, I do not have that great a memory of life, but I will always remember you. You were there for me when nobody else was. You stayed with me at my worst. You got cold when I got cold. You stayed with me until the end and did not give up. Raoul, you do not ever have to apologize. I was so proud when Emma had told me about your fighting. <laughs> Yes, Emma was there for you in life and there for me in my afterlife. She was my fighting partner. We went through the ranks together and I would never have made it to this position without her. Thanks for being here for her. You're welcome. She never stopped believing that she would see you again one day. Yeah. I'm glad that she did. Please tell her that I miss her. And I understand that she will probably not come back here to Belen. That is okay, too. She and I have another place to be. Work to do. So I understand. I think we need help, though, right now. I don't think we have much time. Uh, at that point, you realize that he's actually looking up at the rest of you now and looks back at you, Raoul. He says, You are not dead. But there are four of you here. Here, and indicates, like, the area that you're in. You are here to ask for the army of Belem. I'm glad I didn't have to say it because I thought it was going to make you mad. So I'm <laughs> glad you kind of already, you know, had that kind of, yeah. I am, I am proud that you, I am proud that you are one of the people here. I obviously cannot help you more than I would anybody else attempting this. But... I will call the flame. I will have it be known that you are fighting for the army. And hopefully if there are volunteers enough nearby to make up your opposition, to be the beast to be fought, it should not be long before you can start this. Normally I would have to grill each and every one of you. I would have to test your mettle. I would have to listen to your pleas, but Raal, if you are here. That means that Ama let me come here? Yeah. That <laughs> means it's for real. <laughs> yes. She would not let you have come here on your own unless she believed in you. <laughs> and believed in your friends to keep you safe. And that's a trial all its own. Hmm. <laughs> Believe it or not, you may consider it that, but when we were young, you have to Ral, who was the strong one. Oh, he still is. Well, that's not true. Yes, it is. No. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you about our childhood. I was just long in the past. And I don't have the memory to refute you. <laughs> Apologies. We should probably have introduced ourselves now. Hi, I'm Laffian Dathardy. Pleasure to meet you. Ral has actually told us quite a bit about you. Uh, all these stories might be true. I do not remember, <laughs> frankly. Laughing death or dare. And he looks over at Squash and Zoltana. Um, I'm, I'm Squash. 
Uh, Zoltana. You are the goddess to be? Yeah, yeah. I'm the goddess. Correct. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you. It's also nice to meet you as well. Um, Hogan, if you don't mind my forwardness, um, if I'm understanding correctly, so you are in charge here, yes? I am at the moment, yes. Okay, um, for the sake of my, uh, diminutive friend's mental health here, uh, we have some information that is of utmost importance that we feel you should be aware of, and perhaps may be able to assist us in? Let me call the flame. Okay. Let me start that process so that we do not waste time. Time um, is very much of the essence in indeed. both regards. Um, you see him turn around and he kind of like makes his way out through, um, uh, through the door that was behind him. And you can either follow him or look around. It doesn't really matter. But you hear him chant something very, very quietly, which is a big bassy sound. Um, he can't avoid you guys hearing it. Um, and you just see the sky completely erupt in this kind of purple hue. So from the reds and the dark reds that you've been seeing, everything turns purple and everything is bathed in that kind of like violet light. And you hear... You hear a voice. Um, his voice echoes out across, you would assume, all of all of Bellum itself. And he says, The challenges have come. I require four of you to come forth and battle the ones known as Lafian Bathrogir, Raja Tassara, Squash, and the goddess to be Zoltana Thandabhar. I require the beast brought forward so they may fight. You are all invited to attend to see if they are worthy. Do this sooner rather than later, or you will face my wrath upon you. Go. And you hear the voice just kind of echo all around you, and there's almost complete silence that follows this. And the sky stays purple. He uh, comes back um, and he kind of like settles down best that he can. Um, he's a little too big to sit down normally as a dragon. Um, and he says, your trainer should be here very soon. You have a couple of hours at least. What is it that I can do to help? Okay, so the best way I can explain it is I'm, I assume that you're aware of who faxes, yes? The spy, mm. spy mistress? Yes, the rumor monger. Yes, right. about her. So uh, we discovered that she is actually working for the Blissful Eclipse and has been in communications with Daechin, who is the avatar of the Blissful Eclipse. Um, this we didn't find out until after uh, Squash in inadvertently spilled the beans on where an artifact of great power is here in Bellum. And now she's going to get it so that she can go kill one of our dear friends who also is vitally important to saving all of existence. And we managed to actually talk to one of her follower worker people and kind of get them on our side, we think. And they're going to go delay facts, but they're probably not going to be able to stop her. And we could really use people that could stop her completely. Because if she gets the weapon and jumps through the portal that is at the Sea Witch's abode or their, thereabouts, our mission is going to be exponentially harder. I apologize that was a lot I just threw at you, but my mind is racing right now. I will send people to go help to stop her. Please. The Sea Witch is not a great fan of anybody. And they have surrounded themselves with many dark creatures who have already lost their faculties, shall we say. We will try to stop her. You are most gracious. You see, um, you see him just kind of like, you see him lift his head and uh, you guys see and sense someone step from the shadows in the corner. Um, kind of 
a shadow being, if you will. Um, and they just take off. They're kind of the same shadowy shape as um, Hagen himself. Um, just much, 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 much smaller. Um, my messenger will take a message to them. Thank you. If she comes through, if she is killed, she will answer to me. We are here to protect this world, to fight for it, not to destroy it. Doesn't seem like Fax thinks so. I have heard rumors of certain people. I've heard rumors that people have been swayed by Daechin. That they have been offered a great many things to work for him, against us, to become part of this entity or whatever it is. They do not deserve the glory that is Berlin. It actually is rather interesting that a person that would rather dwell in rumor mongering and spying and whatnot ended up here. People end up here for all sorts of reasons. They can be here because they love the fight. They can be here because they wish they could have been a better fighter. Some people are just lost. Some people don't wish the boredom that comes with Cicero. They don't wish an ending peace. Some don't wish to go to. Some don't even have a choice. But some are tricked here. Some just like the darkness. I can respect that. I wanted to be a bodyguard. But uh, I guess leading Bellum, that was my fate after all. You are welcome to use the place I have nearby to rest. You look like you could do with it. And he looks at Ral and he looks at Squash. <laughs> um... You are welcome to use that until your trainer arrives. How long until the trainer arrives? Do you know? A couple of hours, no doubt. I have to also wait for your challengers and the beasts to be brought forth. I know that at least two challengers have made themselves aware to me. I'm waiting on two more. Any... Uh, what's the word? Non-biased advice that you could perhaps send our way? Impress your trainer. Do not waste your resources on the beast. The true challenge lies at the end. Don't die. We have ways of bringing mortals back. It is not pleasant for anyone. But you would be a hindrance to your team. Understood. Much appreciated. Yeah. Come. Um, and he kind of like leads you away from the vortex itself. Um, his home is really not much different in design to anywhere else except slightly larger. <laughs> because he is a much larger creature. Um he doesn't really have much in the way of uh, guest space, I guess. Um, but he's content to just let you guys make up camp around the fireplace he has and he just keeps to one side and he kind of just rests. He clearly has a part in what's coming up and he's just watching and listening. Uh, Ral's going to go hang out with Hagen at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Are we intending to take what would count as a long rest? I will give you permission to have a long rest. Okay. Even though technically it may only be six hours. Fuck it. Um, uh, if the leader of the army of Belen can't offer you a safe sanctuary for six hours to get six hours of rest to count for a long rest, I, I think he's doing a shit job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will yeah. take it. You you may have six hours of rest and count that as a long rest. You may regain back whatever you need to regain back. Ral, are you sleeping? Are you resting? Are you taking your potion? Um, yeah, I mean, if we're doing a long rest, yeah. If this is just a short rest, no. And That is a long rest. 
I think I'm good on exhaustions and stuff. You know, Great. you know why V is asking. You know why V is asking. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to make sure you all have your resources for this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Or lack thereof. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> be a real shame if someone were to turn into a puddle of acid, then, huh? Mm hmm. That would be awful. <laughs> okay. Um. Is there anything anyone wants to do in a long rest period? I have a few things I might throw at you. Um, so, yeah. Is there anything anyone wants to do? Well, I I definitely want to contact the Demi. Mm-hmm. Are you using one of your sending slots? Are you using a scroll of sending? So, I'm going to be cheeky uh, now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get the bowl out mm-hmm. with the liquid mm-hmm. and I'm going to go into the bag of holding mm-hmm. and I'm going to grab a scrunchie that's what I'm going to say <laughs> does Demi use scrunchies? I think at one point Demi tried ponytail and Demi was not impressed <laughs> And upon that scrunchie, there lieth but a single hair. Would you not think that she would just burn that? <laughs> um. No, no. Debbie, Debbie's a, a smart woman. She's like, uh, I, I bought this thing. I don't know. I'll give it to Taylor's at some point or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, she tried a ponytail at one point and she thought, do you know what's going to happen? One day I'm going to meet a person in my life who also wears a ponytail and they'll want this instead of me and I'll make it sound like it's cool and great. My first ever scrunchie, I gift it unto you. <laughs> uh... um, yeah, you can definitely find like any sort of like hair ornament that she would wear. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, just a you know, mm, like a little know, a string of leather. Or whatever the fuck it is, the the, the clip. Like metal clip things. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. No, um, probably just like a length of leather that she would yeah. use to tie bits of her hair up. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can find that fairly easily. All right, um, yeah. And Squash is gonna um, put the bowl down. He's gonna put the item in. I think I'm remembering mm-hmm. the order correctly. Yep. Then I'm supposed to pour the purple over, and then I cast a spell. Yes. All right. What is the spell? It is a third level spell. Ah, that's that's just as bad. <laughs> but you can cast it as a ritual, which I believe you can do. Yes. So it doesn't cost you any spell slots. Yes. There you go. All right. Yes. So squash. Um, like once the um, um, Hagen is kind of like just shows us to the room. I think squash probably spends like a good five minutes just kind of like has his hands over his face and he's scrunching up his eyebrows and he's just constantly like sitting up and lying down and sitting up until he finally sits up, gets out the bowl and he's like, okay, um, I'm going to contact Demi and explain to her how much I fucked up. Um, For your any- sake, I hope fire cannot be transmitted through a bowl. <laughs> oh. I hope so too, Lafian. Thank you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else we need to uh, tell her? Like, I think we told her everything last thing. I've just fucked up so hard I need to contact her again. I mean, if you want to give a quick update on what is transpiring, what we're waiting to do, mm-hmm. and just a general be ready to get us the fuck out of here if need be. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. And then Squash is going to, like I said, bowl, item, liquid, spell. And he's going to do it ritually. Squash is going to light a bowl. (laughs) Oh, no. Uh, The liquid glows like a light purple, and then it fades into pink through blue, and then it becomes crystal clear. You can just see the bottom of the bowl, and you can see the scrunchie at the bottom. And there's no reaction in it for a little while. Like a minute passes by, two, four, ten minutes pass by. And then you suddenly see Demi's face looking at you. Uh, okay, this is super weird. Oh, um, I, I don't know how this works. I stole this. <laughs> oh, well, well, color me surprise. Um, <laughs> hi! <laughs> Squaz is, by the way, definitely not laughing. He's more like, 
like, oh, right. Yeah, no, I have no idea how this works. I'm sorry. Um, in that moment, realizing. Laffian's laughing. <laughs> um, so- uh, is that Laffian? Hi. Yeah. Um, oh, you can actually hear him. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so this is like, um, I don't know, like a like a speaker or something. I don't know. Um, oh, kind of. Right now, I'm looking in a mirror and I'm seeing you. Oh. So, uh, like, I had, I had like this calling, and it was like, do this thing on here. I'm like, well, that's not the first time I've done random oh. magic out of random things, and I am, I am, I am, I'm like, I am like super stressed by a bunch of stuff. I'm like, well, I'll give it a shot. Maybe this will be the answer to. Maybe this is the answer to my prayers. Please tell me you have found a way of solving all of our problems. <laughs> I'm guessing by the hand on your face, no. Demi, I fucked up. Uh, I fucked up. Are you okay? No. What happened? I fucked up. Hey, hey, it's, it's, it's okay. It's going to be okay. No, that's the problem. It might not be okay. So we're in Bellum, you know... Um, I was told about a weapon that supposedly is really good against wizards and magicians and warlocks and we don't have a lot of time and I trusted the wrong person and they may be about to acquire the weapon and give it to Dajin. Does this weapon have a name? Galtraman's Dagger. Hmm, how bad is it? From what I understand, this weapon can sever the connection between um, deities and mortals. Ah. Yeah. Right. I okay. made a rash decision. There was a person from my past here that I thought I thought they were um none of this whining bullshit. I fucked up. I told them about the weapon. They offered to get it for us. We later interrogated one of their minions because they were being super sp- Well, they're in Bellum. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. They have minions. And, uh, yeah, they came clean that they've heard the word Damas before from that person. So their name is Fex. And... Oh, oh, um... um, That Fex? Yes, that Fex. Oh, man. Uh, One second. One, actually, stay right there. And Squaws is going to walk over to where... (laughs) Higgins and Ral are probably having a real fucking in- intimate moment. <laughs> Huggins looking over at you like, what is he done? <laughs> um, there is a shimmer close to the sea witch's house that should take you to the physical plane. Do you know where? Yes. Let me bring up the map. Oh, thank you. That will help me a lot when I try to describe it back to Demi. You're welcome. Um, we'll just hold it over the bowl. They can, she, she can see it, see you. I mean, no, then you'll spill the bowl. <laughs> Don't move the bowl. Uh, <laughs> Don't the, map the map is movable, isn't it? Just move the map. <laughs> Bring the map closer. What are you doing? Yes, there is. I believe it is in. Place called Hearts Hearth. It is uh, deep within the mines below that place. That's where Pilgrim is from. Yeah. In common. A lot of sus people come out of that place. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing good comes out of that place. I wonder why. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, Thank you. Uh, And Squash is going to go back over to the ball. I, I got that. I got that. I, I had. Okay. I had. Um, that's clearly useless. I was kind of hoping he'd say like, "Oh yeah, it's like next to the 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 town hall in in Falsum." I was kind of hoping you guys could just stand there with a knife and just shank them as soon as they've jumped through the portal. <laughs> I guess not. Um, Wishful thinking, Swash. Yes, but this is probably a location of one of Dajin's many lairs. He probably built it around that area. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, he's. We sent people after them, but we're in the middle of doing the trial for Bellum. Um, oh, how's that going? Uh, exciting. There's a trainer on the way. Um, we're going to fight a beast, and then we're going to fight a different team. And they said, don't die because it's going to be really, really painful. Well, yeah, that's that's a given. Yeah, uh, I guess I guess it could be worse if you died in Berlin versus if you died here. I don't. I don't know. 
Okay, so you're so seeing die. Me just in- do me a favor. Just do me a solid, solid favor. None of you die. Okay. Uh, I don't know if any of you can hear me, but just, just hi, just, Demi. Just hi. <laughs> Wasn't planning hey. on it. <laughs> just don't. Okay. You're seeing us in a mirror. Yeah. Um. You can actually like she turns the mirror and you can see that she's in a room in the gentleman's jeweling club. Oh. Okay, am I remembering correctly, but we found a mirror, there was like a room with a mirror in Dayton's lair when we ambushed him, when we got the anchor, right? Am I imagining this? I think you're right. I feel like I'm right. Yeah. I feel like everything's tying together, little clues here and there. (laughs) Or I'm making shit up because we haven't really slept and it's been a very long day. No, that's a good call, actually. That, yeah... There are always mirrors in evil places. <laughs> <laughs> this, I hate them. <laughs> well, I'm making them a sign of good now. Um, okay. As far as we know, Fax doesn't know we're onto them, but as soon as they get ambushed by everything we've sent after them, they're probably going to be onto us. Um, I just needed to let okay. you know that I fucked up, and you need to be you need to be careful if somebody has a dagger. And they seem to be... Dachin's coming tomorrow. To the Dentalman Jeweling Club. Yeah. To... 24 hours. Uh, I think so. I mean, the jewel is set in the afternoon. So I have a little bit of time, I think. Squad's going to, like, look over and go, I think the teleportation deal we did with the creepy person was a good idea because we don't have a lot of time. Uh, okay, okay. Things are playing out. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just stalling him, so that Amor and the other, uh, Amor's doing fine, by the way. Um, okay, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> um, she and some of the dragonborn and some of the wild sorcerers. I know they're they're going to go destroy one of the last sites that we know of. But he has it heavily guarded right now, and he's there almost all the time. And if we can definitely get him out, then that would help us destroy that. That's a good plan. It's a stupid one, Squash. What? I said I'm doing something really stupid, Ryle. Oh, okay. Which means that we should hurry up with our trial gauntlet thingy and get back to the Gentleman Doing Club for when Dayton inevitably breaks his cheats? promises and cheats. Yeah. Yeah. Um There's no way I, he's just, not going to cheat. Like I don't think I've ever heard that man say a single truth. I think he's only ever lied to me my entire interactions with him. Well, unless it's about himself, I'm sure he has uh, nothing but No, he lied fantastic. about who he was when I met him. Well, I meant more of a <laughs> presentation in a positive manner sort of thing. But fair. <sighs> Yeah. All right. Um, but in in other news, the book you lent me handed back to me. I guess the shielding one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I have a plan. A good plan. I can't test it. <laughs> I can't test it. Well, hopefully, um, hopefully it won't come to it. But we. we if if it does, hopefully it will be successful. Yeah. And hopefully um, we'll be there. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go with Dachin. I mean, that may never be a problem, right? Um, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I just you stressed him long enough and then he'll get pissed off and then he'll leave or he'll do a really smart thing or a really stupid thing and attack me and then Jill will have to step in, which would be an interesting fight I'd love to see. Um <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll see. What about Emil? We'll what about Emil? I think as soon as we can get Dacian on the ropes, Emil's ready to go. We just need to get him as far down as possible. Okay. That makes sense. No, that's great. Good, glad to hear. No, not that um, I want Emil to disappear into oblivion, so to speak. But you know what I mean. No, I, 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 I might have a plan on getting him back from that too, but that kind of requires me. Hey, can you can you can you show me like Lafayette? This is super weird talking. Uh, hold on, I'll come over to the. Hold on a second. Let me just. Sorry, sorry. 
<laughs> oh, I just Hi. realized talking into this bowl is like the uh, phone at the worst angle where you're looking down and it yep. gives you the double chin. <laughs> the squash is pulled back, yeah. so he's just on the rim. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing like scooches over and just squash, make Hi. room, make room. Oh, wait, wait, so it's a bowl, so if I'm on top of it and he's on the bottom, then, like, my head appears upside yeah. down. Squash, yeah, like, like, scoots is, down, so it's just kind weird. of the top. <laughs> hi, hi, Demi. Hi. How you doing? Oh, you know, we've we've been better, but worse, but things are happening. Good, good. Um, good luck with all the things. Oh, we're, um, we're but yeah, I, I, I have a plan to get a meal out if I live, make it through, I think. Um, but I might need to pick your brains maybe at the end. You've said you wanted to do that to my brain several times. You're going to need to be specific. Okay. I mean more actually talking to you than not. Oh, yeah, no, that's I, I mean fine. talking, not like digging in with fingers and stuff. No, that's Although, fine. Then. Yeah, yeah, that, w- that would be great. I, um, I like talking, I, that's I just, fine. Yeah. Uh, we we can I I feel like we could learn a lot more, and I think once I've mastered like some of the magic, other stuff that exists out there, and figure out what the hell squashes deal with magic is. Hi, um, <laughs> that we can figure out what yours is, and then maybe everyone can have access to a bunch of stuff, and that'd be like super cool for the world. But that's far future down the line that I may not even live to see. I mean, yeah, um, yeah. Is everyone else doing all right? Is there anything else I need to, um? do for you i mean i don't have a whole lot of time but like um be prepared to pull us out when we're done yeah i can do that if things go incredibly badly on your side there's a way for us to return to the physical plane from here but it's a very strange thing so just know that if if you're out of spells if everything's going to tits up we're not stuck here you you have to finish. You, you're not coming home until you're done. I know. I'm. I'm saying, <sighs> if you're captured by Dajin, we're still coming back. That's that's super sweet. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna have to f- learn how to turn this thing off. <laughs> um. As a as a side note, did you want her to try and get hold of Trevor for you and arrange oh. arrange that since she's sorry, I've been completely like uh, consumed <laughs> oh, by yeah, no, that stupid thing. Finally, blindsided you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot all about Trevor. Poor Trevor. I love Trevor. It's <laughs> the worst. Yeah, Wait, we squash, don't hang up yet. Trevor. Squash just shaking wait, the ball. No, you hang no, up. Squash, no, 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 you hang no, up. Ah, no, you hang up. No, squash, wait, don't no, hang I, up. Wait, wait, wait. No, uh, wait, wait, wait hang what? We forgot. Wait. No, you hang up first. No, no, don't What does that up. mean? What are you guys talking about? Hey, so Zoltana's there? Hi. Hi, I'm Zoltana. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm doing okay. How are you? Uh, I'm I'm good. It's, um um uh, uh scoot Laffy yeah, out the yeah, way yeah. so I can say hi. I, I, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll I'll step back. Bye, Laffy, and good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. Thanks. Hey, hey, Sultana, how are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty okay. Good. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I scared. I scared you, a you, fawn today. A fawn. Yeah. I mean, they're always skittish and scared. Like, I extra scared him. Oh, oh! Are we talking like a like a like a like a demon fawn? Did it have like fiery hooves and, and knives for eyes? We had like a bunch of eyes and also like little tiny hands. So that's creepy. It's kind of weird. I think I think he probably had daggers to put in those tiny hands. It was going to be real fucking sp- spooky if he attacked us. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I, I mean, I I had a good time. Good. Uh, well, that's. I mean that's all that's all that's all the goods. Uh, you mentioned a name? Oh yeah, Trevor. Trevor. Is Trevor Titus's cleric? Yes. I don't know if cleric's the right term, but that sounds right. Correct, yes, he is. Huh. Uh what do you, do you need me to get him a message? I mean he's not uh one of yours, right? No, I just need to find him because we gotta like 
He's got to do kind of like a seance for us. Well, ooh, Sultana, you want to explain, clarify? <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> Sultana, life and death here. Ugh, okay, God, explaining things takes so much time, though. Um, you kicked me out. I could have explained it too. Just <laughs> we have to use up an hour. Oh, okay, fine. Um, sorry, Demi. <laughs> We're paying by the minute here. <laughs> you know me. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm. I'm kind of a brevity kind of guy uh yes yeah, so yeah you cut through the bullshit like the basics i need to talk to trevor i need to talk cool. to trevor when? uh <laughs> as soon as you, as soon as possible um uh, because you we have need him in bellum i don't i mean i don't want him to come to bellum i feel like that's not good for him I don't think his poor heart could take it yeah i just like the sin mm. the second we're out of bellum if you get him a message to to get to a base that would be dope because like the second like i need to talk to him as soon as we're out of bellum because uh there's a situation with a soul that my sword is dissolving and uh we need to talk to that soul and uh, i tried to intimidate it out of the sword but it didn't really work um <laughs> You tried to intimidate your sword? Not my sword. I tried to intimidate the soul my sword was eaten. He stopped eating it. He said he'd like put what, a hold on. What, on... What? I, I like to imagine your sword has just put like a bib on. <laughs> like in between eating, it just has holding knife and fork. But that might just be me. Um... How's the sword going to hold a knife and fork, Demi? Be be reasonable. I be guess realistic. it is a knife, be right? realistic. I mean, he is a giant knife, so he would just need a fork. Oh, How's he gonna hold it? He doesn't got no hands. He's a fo- he's a knife. He has a handle, so he has at least one hand. Demi, have yeah. you ever seen a sword hold something with the handle? Come on, come on. Your hand, your hand. My hand is my hand. Oh, you say yeah. oh, when I'm holding him yeah. his handle, he's holding my hand back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's deep, man. I'm going to have a yeah. stroke listening to this conversation. <laughs> Kala must have control of me, I think. And in that case, it definitely would have been Cal holding something. He would have been holding me. Okay. Technically. Okay. Um, yeah, Lafian's right. We should cut down to it. I will get Trevor here. So if you guys are done before Dacian gets here, then you'll be able to talk to Trevor to talk to the soul in your sword. That isn't Kalamon. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I could pull that off. I mean, I could have someone message. I could, I could, uh, I'll get Trent Parts, I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a good use of his time. Yeah. He doesn't have enough to do. Okay, yeah, I can fix that. I can, I can, I can, I can do that for you. No problem. Um, I think Helsif might be pledging her allegiance to you. Um, she is super pissed after Damas got stoned. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I I guess that's, uh, <laughs> she's one of yours now. Oh, nice. So you can add Helsif and five extra would be those from her clan that also got super close to Damas, um, so yeah, you can add Helsif as a named and extra five. Yeah, she's she's really angry that she's not going to be able to just go um, kill Dacian right now on her own and get the stone back, but uh, that's not an option for her. Um, Damas would be even more pissed at me if I let her die to him. So, um, yeah. So, well, uh I'm feeling super awkward, so uh, maybe we could. Uh... I'll, uh, let me try this. Of course, it's just going to reach in and grab the scrunchie and pull it. Wait, out. no, 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 <laughs> no. No, okay. what, what, what? <laughs> Your hand just reaches um, out through the mirror. It's like. <laughs> ah! um... uh, she says, um, "Just, I, I don't know what." F- phase of fighting Daechin verbally or otherwise I might be. So it might be a bit before I can pull you through or it might be instant. Um, just um, just assume when you come back that you might need to uh, uh, attack something or just run or y- you might be in front of Trevor. 
Um, so just um, brace for impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and super don't die. Didn't plan on it. Better not. I mean, that would be rubbish. Just, just straight up unfun. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I I have some things to continue working yes, out, and please. I need to get hold of Trevor. Um, uh, bye, Lafian and Raoul and Zoltana. I'll bye. see you guys soon. Farewell. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. Shakes the ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I... You shake the ball, nothing happens. She just kind of wipes over. <laughs> oh, no, she swept left. Swept left. You. How dare you? Wait, which way is she supposed to write? Fuck, is it right? Is that I don't know. Swipes? I've never used these apps. <laughs> uh, at some point, Raw and Hagen are sitting there and... Uh, Raw says, I wanted to uh, make sure you knew that um, there's going to be a cure. I can't really explain how. You see, like, Hagen kind of, like, stand up. It's a bit more comfortable for him to do that. And he says... There is going to be a cure for what we have. Yeah. Wow. So no one should have to suffer like you and I. I would not wish this on my worst enemies. <laughs> and I am the leader of Bellum. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Are you okay here? Yeah, I am. I am pretty good. Um, I have not lost leadership of Bellum for many, many turns now. I am happy. I feel like I have reached my place. Aimer is a big part of that. I will not forget what she did to help me. Yeah. I'm incredibly proud of you. I am proud of what you're going to become. I can see it written on the mark on your neck. Or rubs his neck. <laughs> He's giving you no idea. <laughs> People keep bringing it up. What are you on about, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. Yes, no idea what people are talking about. Um, you are to become something with the deity of death. Yeah. Was your specter nice to you? They were. They... They were. They were very kind. Very gentle. They explained what had happened. They took the last memories that I had away so I would not feel or remember that pain. But they told me you were there and you did not let go or leave me. They were very gentle. They told me what options I had. They explained the risk if I decided not to choose either. And I decided if there is one choice I got to make about what I became, and this was the only one I could take, then I would choose to be active. I would choose to maybe become a guard, to maybe fight again, to protect this world. I have no interest in what our mission was. I don't care about any of that. I care about keeping as many people safe as I can. And hey, maybe next time I die, I will not care or think about this, but this is how I exist right now. I am happy, Ra. I feel more like me than I ever did when I was alive. And what about you? Are you happy with your choices? Doing the best I can with every opportunity, you know. And I've been lucky, so hopefully something comes from that, you know. If you manage to get a cure for those who want it, I think that is a great blessing. Yeah. And whatever it is that you are doing to earn that. 
I hope it doesn't hurt you too much. I want you to have something. And Raw takes off Me. his hoodie and gives it to Hagen. Soon I won't need this, but it's resistant to acid, so it's magic. It should change sizes. <laughs> and he gestures to Hagen. <laughs> his enormous <laughs> dragon size, yeah. Um, but if not, just he takes it. keep it. I... I don't know what to say. I'm just glad that I was able to uh, see you again. Just try not to forget us. <laughs> I will try not to. Thank you. Yeah, bro, hugs again. He he hugs you back, and it's like a like a, a big hug, um, quite chilly, but a big <laughs> hug. Um, you see that he struggles a bit initially to get the hoodie on, but yeah, the hoodie changes shape, and yeah, you basically have a white dragon and a hoodie. <laughs> um, he pulls it off. Um, it, it fits quite snugly. Um, and he says, "I appreciate the gift. Thank you." You're welcome. I'm happy for you, even though this is hard for me to see you like this. Hmm. I understand. I do too. Do not be a stranger when you become a reaper or whatever you are, specter. Don't be a stranger. Come, come visit me. Yeah, I should be able to come say hi. Um, I'm able to go to the stocking sometimes. So when I'm in the stocking, I should be able to, you know, do the same thing, peek in from time to time. Yes. I don't know how it works, but... <laughs> we will figure that out between us. And when you get home, say hi to Emma. Tell her I am looking after her sword. I will. <laughs> Did she return with her wings? Uh... <laughs> Ross nose bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! Uh, uh, stay calm. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Just okay. No no no. <laughs> Just now. I think she would miss them. She very much enjoyed being able to fly. I never quite grew them. And he kind of like wiggles his shoulders. And you can see he has like the beginnings of wings, like gloriously big wings, but they are not big enough to keep him up. Um, the nubbins. <laughs> yeah. Um, she very much enjoyed the sensation of flying. Please send her my love when you see her. I will. I'll tell her all about it. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear from you. That is good. Bellum was very tough for her. Yeah. I imagine. It doesn't seem easy here. It is not. This place, this towns around the various portals, uh, around the various vortexes here. That's where people have retained most of their memories or become manipulative creatures or those that trick the creatures further out and further away they are more monstrous or they have become victims of the world it is hard to see them like that but there are more of them than they are of us the sea witch she could come in and completely destroy this place if this was her idea I am hoping I am hoping that she does not offer herself as one of your challengers. Yeah. I can't, uh... can't do anything about all this if I'm dead. No. Mm. No, you cannot. They will not take it easy on you. It has to be hard. Do you understand that? Well, shrugs, yeah. If there is nobody to... If none of you are able to claim the army of Bellum, 
I will only be able to send the honorable dead, the people who decide they want to take the risk of losing their mind to fight. The army will just wait for the next apocalypse. I cannot change that. But I would come. I would risk it. You just might have to put me down. That is all. Your challengers are here. Your trainer should be here very soon. Great. Do we get to know who is against us here? Yes. You will meet them very, very soon. Their trainer is different to yours, but you will all get to see each other, to size each other up before you start. That is the only way for a fair fight. Okay. Are you already unrested? As ready as we'll ever be, I think. Yeah. Good. Then we should begin. Doodle doo, doodle doo. Um, you may all level up since you rested. <gasps> oh, that means we're going to fight some shit. Hey everyone, it's V here. Yep, third episode in a row. I'm not sure how I managed to do that to myself. Um, Neil and I tend to trade off, so yeah, like three in a row. I'm sorry you have to listen to me again. Um, thank you all so much for listening. Um, thank you all for getting this far. And I am, I cannot tell you how stoked I am for the next set of stuff to come up. Like, we've had so much. There's so much drama happening right now, and there's so many big things happening. And it's, uh, everyone's been doing so amazingly. I'm also proud of them as role players and, I'm just very happy right now. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to one of our new patrons, Pete. Thank you so much um, for being a patron. It really does help us have some stability and continue creating the hobby that we love. So thank you so much, Pete. Thank you so much for becoming a patron. Um, If you want to help out uh, the podcast in a way that isn't financially um, required, you can leave us reviews. Um, reviews are a great way for folks to see like yep there's loads of five star reviews out there there's loads of people talking really positive about it I'll give it a shot reviews are just really good ways to endorse our show and it is uh, should kind of be free um, so yeah if you want to help out um, please leave us some reviews we also love reading them so yeah that would be great you're about to hear an ad for a podcast called Deck of Many Aces I met them at London Comic Con and they are really really nice people so go ahead and give their show a listen the ad for them should be playing now. Welcome, I'm Bastet. I'll be running your operation. The project's official name is the Adventurer's Research of Abnormal Civilian Experiences, or Project Arrowace for short, to investigate the unusual occurrences that have been happening everywhere recently. I've hired you all for your uh, indisputable military prowess. I'm going to be honest, I think we should run. Your academic expertise. I don't know, I'm not a wizard in real life. And your hands-on experiences. Tentacles belong in the ocean! I did lose, I also lost all my food, so Delphi, in a few hours you might start looking really delicious. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Can everyone please roll for initiative? Oh, I nearly cussed so hard. <laughs> Deck of Many Aces is an actual play podcast made by an all aromantic and asexual cast and crew. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever else you listen to podcasts, releasing every other Friday. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Deck of Many Aces.